Hi everybody. <clears throat> We're here today. I'm going to be covering three things actually in this video. We're going to do a flip through of the blue plaid journal which we just finished. And I'm also going to show you I had made an album probably in 2000 or 2002. It was my first mini album. And actually, when I look at it now, after making junk journals, I realize it was a junk journal at that time. It was not made with any specific paper packs or fancy stuff. Anything I had, I used, and I'm, I'm gonna show you that. And then we're gonna do a preview of our next journal. I think you're gonna like these papers. Very cheerful. Okay, so let's get started. This is Pat in the paper closet. Glad you came back today. I'm gonna go do a quick flip through of our blue plaid junk journal. I hope you made one along with me. Similar papers, just use what you have of similar varieties. Now on the inside, well, this is the cover. Cover is very basic. It has a pocket on it. Well, you can put something in there, a gift card, be giving it as a gift, or a note, or a little letter to someone, but there is an actual pocket. So you open it up, and the first inside cover, I put a pocket on here, this little tiny tuck spot that you can put something small in. In the pocket, I put a few extra pockets. And this, well, this I will show you as we get to it, but this was my scrap. These are the pockets. They fit on the pages. They're all ready to go. So when I'm working on this journal, if I need a pocket, I have one fully made already. This one is made of vellum, made in the same way. You just glue them on around three sides either one and put it on the page and then you're ready. So I like keeping extra pockets in there in case I need them. You never know. This page I just made a very small little belly band and I put two cards in there. This I believe was a Project Life card. Today was a good day and this one I made it says remember room for journaling the back is some sort of a map, but that's what I put in there. You can fit a few more in there if you wanted. Something on the bottom. A little gnome up here, holding a heart. Here's room for journaling. It's a nice lined paper. This was the pocket I made out of a few layers of paper towels, if you remember. And in here I have just a little journaling spot double-sided, has a little stamp on it, so that's in there, and there's also a tag, room for journaling on the back, you could decorate the front with something if you want, you could also put something on the back of this tag, and then you have the whole page for journaling, more room for journaling or photos, this was just a flip of different papers that I used in the journal. I put on here with a altered paper clip that I made. It has a butterfly and a flower and one of my charms that I've made, the cardstock charms that I also have a video on. Room for journaling, more room for journaling, pictures, photos, journaling spots. This is a paper ruffle I had made, so I decided to put three of them in here, sort of make them look like tabs. That's a paper ruffle. I haven't made a video on making them yet, but I will. Here's a little side tuck spot with a tag. Room for journaling on the back. Tucks in there. You can add something else with it. Room for journaling. Here's a little side pocket with a tag in it. 
tucks in there. This was the newest thing I made. This was the 3D mini banner. Holds a few little tags. This one is very small, so I put small tags in here. But it's not in the way. If you want to do journaling around the whole page, there's room for it. So I just put these two little tags in here. More journaling. More journaling. And here's a bottom pocket with a tag and a journal card in it. Room for journaling on the back of both. More journaling. And here's a little pocket I made out of an envelope. I ended up with a little angle pocket here. There's a top pocket here. You could put a large tag in there if you want. There's also a little tuck spot here where you could tuck something. And then behind it, it's also a pocket. A little journaling spot. My favorite journaling paper. And on my computer, just stitching around it. Um, and then I have more journaling room. This was the pocket. I had seen made on the internet, but on YouTube, but I hadn't found, I don't know who made it. So if anyone knows, please let me know. But I like this. It's actually a lunch bag. Opens up. You can put some tags in here or a private little note. And it has a pocket here for a tag. And then behind it, you could put a large tag. It's open back there. So that was kind of cute. I like that. I stamped on here with some little stamps I had. It says, here's the story. You can do whatever you want with this page. I just left it blank. I like the design. <clears throat> it was also made on my computer. And here we have a little corner tuck for the tag. Move the journaling on the back. I haven't put any ribbons or strings on any of my tags. I can always do that later when I'm writing in it. Here's another little stamp I did. It says, Fun Times. This is a little corner tuck with a little small journaling spot in it. Double-sided. You can write on both sides of that. Tuck it in the corner. And another one of those paper ruffles. Here is a angled pocket I put in here with a large journaling card. Lots of room for journaling on the card and behind it. There's another stamp I have that says "Be you." Now this one I did on my computer on the paper when I was making it. it says "Be you." graph paper with a little blue tint to it. It's a small pocket. There's a journaling card and a writing space in it. This also opens up. I can find the edge. Hmm. Difficult. There we go. So you can journal on both sides of this. There's plenty of room in this book for journaling, which I like. That's what I, I'm always going for, the journaling or the creative pages I want to make. This has a little corner tuck on it with a little tiny tag, which also opens up. I can get it open. There we go. I could do a little journaling on there. Put it in that little corner tuck. This is a green page. Here's a little stamp I also had, an arrow. Another bottom pocket with tag and a journaling card in it. This one was actually, it was a scrap when I was testing out some stamps that I had. Little letters. This was my test paper. So I decided to use it on the back of my tag. That goes in there. Up here, let me take this tag. There's a little tiny tuck spot where I put in another one of those Project Life cards. That stays there. Journaling room.
This page has a side pocket, a small side pocket, where I put in another piece for journaling. Opens up. Journal on both sides. Tuck it in a little pocket. Nice little secret spot. Here's another bottom pocket with a journaling card in it. This is not a tuck. Room on the back for journaling. A little cluster I put on here, some of the papers that I've used. These butterflies are printed on the paper and then I glittered them up with stick stickles. Diamond stickles. The way I did this, I took the stickles bottle and I just kept tapping it over the page rather than running it. I like the effect it gives that way. It's a little more glittery that way. Can you see the glitter? Let's see. There we go. By tapping it, you just get little droplets at a time. I like that look. Another spot for whatever you want. Photos, memorabilia. Now here's a large tag hooked on a paper clip. It has a pocket on the front with a journaling card. Actually, this is another Project Life card. And lots of journaling filled up for on the back. And this just gets tucked under what is an altered paper clip on the side with another butterfly glittered up. Tucked under here is some more journal paper. Oh, this one doesn't open up. I closed it up so it would be a little pocket. So it has a little hidden tuck spot. But you can journal on the front and the back. And then you put it back under this paper clip. This page has a pocket. It just flips up a little bit. You could write under it if you're running out of room. Here's another journaling spot. My usual paper in the pocket where I put a butterfly on. You can also journal on this paper and the rest of the page. And this one has a paper ruffle on it. No, it doesn't. That's the next page. Here's the green paper. Graph paper with the paper ruffle on it. This one is another little angled pocket with a large tag in it, or journaling card. The corner of this says, remember. And here's a corner tuck with a little small, another one of those little tags that I made. This page is where I use my cutout word that I had cut out on my silhouette cameo, and I use the actual word as the print out, the cutout, as a stencil, and then it was all inked up so I glued it onto the page. <clears throat> this page is plain, it says, today I'm doing this. Here's the back of that other cardstock. Another little side tuck with a small little tag and another one of my journaling spots. in there. Plain paper. Well, it's blue. I think I dyed this blue with food coloring. <coughs> Here was the 3D mini banner we made on camera. It's a little bit larger than the first, so it holds a regular size tag. And there's a small tag in there. The corner of this paper says, remember. Remember this. That was a stamp that I had. This has liquid pearls on the corners. Kind of looks like buttons. Another little side tuck with my usual paper in it. The stitching was done on my computer. Blue paper white lined paper, some of that blue dyed paper that I made, some coffee dyed paper, some lined paper with computer stitching on it, another pocket with a large tag in it for a journaling card, 
this is my wine paper, graph paper, the blue dyed paper, and my line paper with the stitching, computer stitching on it. In the back is another page of denim paper with the stitching and another little gnome. She has on beads and some braids. I thought she was cute. So I put her in there. Okay, that's it. That's the blue plaid junk journal. I hope you try making one. You can use any variety of paper if you like. Just pick things that sort of go together. Sort of, not even. And follow along my series of videos where I show you exactly how to make it. How to make the cover, which was, this I believe was two layers of a paper bag covered with paper. And I like this, the way this one is not hard, it's soft. So it kind of bends and molds to the book. Okay, so hope you like that preview, not preview, review of the book. That's what it is. Okay, and the second thing I wanted to do is show you, uh, you may have seen this already. If you did, then skip over it. But this was a book I made probably in 2000 or 2001 or two, around there. It was the first mini album, or what I thought was a mini album, that I ever made. I had watched many YouTube videos and finally decided I was gonna put it all together and come up with my own idea. So that's what I did. The cover was made of cardboard, covered with paper. Now none of this is paper that I purchased. I just took copy paper and printed out three different patterns, and that's what's throughout the whole book, those three patterns of paper. This was a strip of the paper I had, and I did the edging on it with a punch. This was a card I printed out. This I had made, I don't even, couldn't even tell you how I achieved that H. This was a clock I cut out and glued it on, another clock. And this was a souvenir from Disney World. I kept moving it from one place to another. I knew I wanted to keep it, so I put it on this book, which is very appropriate. Now the closure I also made is made out of cardboard, so it's very strong. It doesn't give, it doesn't bend. So it's holding the book nicely closed and allows for expansion. So in here, why I'm saying, this was actually, when I made it, I thought I was making a mini album, but it is a junk journal. It is full of memorabilia, photos, things I write, typed out and wrote, a lot of journaling in here. Extra pockets I put in that move and open, little slots for more things to slide into. So this is based on what I had watched at the time. These are all photos in here. These are pockets. Each page has two pockets. And I made this little sign with letters I had. No, I cut these out on my silhouette. And it folds out of the way. So I can read what I wrote. In here I have tucked a lot of memorabilia from when my kids were small, things I want to remember. A picture of my husband and myself in high school. But this book is made all of different pockets, and flaps. My passport is in here. So I'm not going to do a full flip through of this whole book. I have a video on this. If you'd like to go to see, I mean, there are plenty. There's plenty in here. <laughs> Excuse me. And I still have room. I'm not finished. I have plans for these pages. And I still have a few more little areas where I can add pages. But here's what I was talking about. It's just made out of copy paper, which I printed. This was a print, one of the patterns. This was one. And there's one more, I believe. Yeah, these stripes. That's all I did. That's all I used. And I folded them over to form pages, which have pockets in them. There's a pocket there. 
in a pocket there. So I could fit two of these mats in there in each page if I want, if I need more room. So actually this is a junk journal. There's memorabilia, there's photos. It's made out of plain old paper. This, I have this open up. Um, lots of memorabilia, tickets from Disney World when we went, souvenirs we purchased, car parking, stub. So this is actually a junk journal. I love it. Very good. So if you'd like to see this video, it's on my channel. The way you can get there is either directly below the screen on the left hand side in the corner. Just click on where it says in the paper closet and that will take you to my channel. You click on the heading videos and you'll see the whole list of all the videos I've got. This one is called Timeless Memories. It's scroll, scroll down maybe four or five rows of videos and you'll see it but it's a full flip through of this whole book pack all the pockets i did not how i did them i didn't video it at the time but it'll show you how i did it so this is actually a junk journal i would consider this a junk journal it has lots of that uh, different sorts of things in here even postcards for a pocket time that I made it. I didn't know it, but I made a junk journal. Okay, so please try and find that video. Take a look. And I hope you enjoyed that. And now I'm going to show you the preview of our next journal that I'm making. And I'm just going to show you the papers that I'm using. I think you'll like these. It's a very cheerful, bright looking. I'm just going to flip through them, give you a glance at them colors, flowers, <coughs> some of the pages have, oops, it, yeah, I printed right on the page some of the cards, words, I'm going to start working on that this week, haven't got a name for it yet, but I will. We're going to start putting it together. We'll start with the cover. I think I will make it... I think I'm going to be making this one out of cardboard. With a regular spine, probably about an inch. So I could fit maybe two signatures in there. So it'll have lots of room in it. And I think this will be a very cheerful colored journal. With my usual lots of room for journaling. But pockets and tags and journaling cards. So please come back, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell, and you'll be notified when the next video is up, when we're going to start this. And like I said, please go back and check out my videos on my channel, either below the screen to the left, or in the description box is a link. You hit the link and it will take you directly to my channel. You can see all the things I've made. There's many things on my channel. I've made greeting card storage books, custom clear pockets, which is great because when you buy those clear pockets, they only come in one size. So we do make your own, any size you want for any book you're making. And they come very, very handy. I've also made custom cardstock charms. So you can make any charm you want. They're made out of cardstock, five layers. And you make a charm, whatever you want, a flower, a book, a ruler, anything you want. You're not limited. I've also made, I have series on I've made four junk journals so far. This is the fourth one. And I have a series for each one. So you can follow along as I make them all. Like I said, this is the fourth one I've made. I do plan on doing a few more. 
and then I like to get back to maybe mini albums and scrapbooks, things of that sort, greeting cards. So please go check out my channel, see what you can find. I'm sure there's something in there you'll like. And thank you for coming. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button because that helps me get more views and helps my channel to grow. So thank you for coming and I'll see you soon. Bye.